When America entered the war in 1941, Hitler's armies had been devastating Europe for more than two years. The Nazi terror had swept through most of the continent, murdering, stealing, and terrorizing everyone in their way. Early in 1942, General Eisenhower ordered a special operations unit to be created. Twelve army soldiers were recruited for their abilities in special warfare and small unit operations. These men were not well suited for the regular army. They were highly undisciplined and disrespectful of authority, only to be used for extremely dangerous missions, perfect for covert operations in every imaginable environment these 12 soldiers were certified mission ready by Special Operations Command by 1943. You will lead your men in some of the most dangerous missions necessary to win the war. When General Eisenhower came to inspect the training of your men, there was little doubt that you could undertake these impossible missions and succeed. He was said to have referred to them as the deadliest 12 men he had ever seen. Thus, the legend of the Deadly Dozen was born. This is our first mission. All the top brass will be watching us, so don't screw up. The target is a small summer chateau located about five miles northwest of Outro. It is the headquarters of Hauptmann Emil Strauss, one of the military intelligence officers attached to the German HQ in Calais. Strauss keeps a lot of classified information in a briefcase with him at all times. We want that information, and we want it soon. Since there isn't enough time for you to get the briefcase to us, we need you to go to a nearby German communication station and transmit the information immediately. According to the French resistance, the German units in the area consist of regular infantry. There are no known armored vehicles. There have been reports of SS elements in the area, but this has not been confirmed. The Germans have relocated most of the civilians for security reasons. They won't know what hit them. Let's light them up. I'll catch you up. Reporting for duty, sir. Oh! 